Hello everyone. In our practical sessions related to pharmaceutical analysis, today we are going to discuss about assay of ammonium chloride as per Indian Pharmacopoeia 2014. So, ammonium chloride is a weak inorganic acid. It exists as a white crystalline powder or a fine crystals as a most inorganic salts. Ammonium chloride is freely soluble in water. What are the uses? It is used as nitrogen source add, added to fertilizers and animal nutrients. What are the pharmacological uses? It is used as expectorant in the cuff preparations and as acidifying agent to correct metabolic alkalosis. So these are the pharmacological uses. Now what is the theory behind this practical? Acid base indicator is a chemical which determine the end point in neutralization titration by changing color according to pH of the titrant solution. So there are two, uh, two types of the theories. The first is the Oswald theory and the second is the Cunoid theory. According to Oswald theory, the acid base indicator is either a weak acid or a weak base having different color in ionized and unionized forms. In acid solution, the excess of H plus ions will depress the ionization of the indicator and the color will be that of the unionized form. Alkali will promote a removal of hydrogen ions from the system with an increase in the concentration of the ionized form so that the solution acquires the ionized color. For example, phenolphthalein. Phenolphthalein, which is a weak acid, is used as pH indicator. It is colorless in acidic solution and is basic and in basic solution it is pink in color. Coming to the cunoid theory and according to this theory the acid base indicators exist in two tautomeric forms having different structure and are in equilibrium. One form is termed as benzenoid form and the other form is known as cunoid form. And the two forms have different colors. One color change is due to the interconversion of one tautomeric form to the other. One form is mainly exist in the acidic medium and the other in the alkaline medium. For example, methyl orange. Methyl orange has cunoid form in the acidic solution and benzenoid form in the alkaline solution. The color of the benzenoid form is yellow while that of the cunoid form is red. Now coming to the acid base titration, why we are uh, discussing this acid base titration and different terms in the acid base titration because the assay of ammonium chloride is based upon the acid base titration. So what is a titrant? The titrant is a solution of known concentration that is added or titrated to another solution to determine the concentration of a second chemical species and may also be called as titrator, the reagent or the standard solution. The second term is the titrant and the titrant is a species of interest during the titration or the substance whose concentration is to be determined by titration. What is acidimetry? A standard solution of an acid can be used for quantitative determination of alkalis. What is alkalimetry? A standard solution of an alkali can be used for quantitative determination of acids. And what is acid-based titration? Acid-based titrations are based on the neutralization reaction between the analyte and an acid or a base titrant. Now what will, what will be the procedure? Dissolve 1 gram of ammonium chloride in 20 ml of distilled water. Add a mixture of 5 ml formaldehyde solution which is previously neutralized with 0.1 molar NaOH and 20 ml distilled water. Leave it for 2 minutes and then titrate slowly with 1 molar sodium hydroxide using phenolphthalein as indicator. Now coming to the observation table. We have to prepare two observation table. The first is for titration of ammonium chloride versus NaOS solution and the second is the blank titration for ammonium chloride versus NaOS solution. We perform blank titration to minimize the error. So we can draw the ammonium chloride 
amount in the gram the buret reading and in the buret reading the initial reading the final reading and the used volume of the naoh we can repeat the titration three times and we get a value of abc and then we can found a average value of naoh solution which is a value and in the second observation table the amount of ammonium chloride is zero as we all know that in the blank titration the analyte uh, uh, amount is zero the uh, next is the buret reading and here also the initial reading the final reading and the used volume of naoh reading is repeated three times so we can get x y and z and the average volume of naoh solution is calculated and we get a value of b so these are the observation tables now coming to the calculation portion calculation for the estimation of ammonium chloride so what is the equivalent factor it is given that 1 ml of 0.1 molar naoh is equivalent to 0.005349 g of nh4cl here volume of naoh is equal to the volume used in the titration a which we obtained in the observation table a minus volume used in the blank titration b the volume which we obtained in the observation number b so we can subtract it and we can get a volume of naoh for uh, m naoh we can do the calculation that each ml of 0.1 molar naoh is equivalent to 0.005349 g of nh4cl thus each ml of m naoh that is naoh is equivalent to the m naoh into the equivalent factor which is given that is 0.005349 g of nh4cl thus the v volume of uh, ml of m naoh is equivalent to the v naoh into the m naoh into the equivalent factor that is 0.005349 g of nh4cl so by multiplying all these values we can get a gram of the uh, ammonium chloride and this is the experimental value now uh, we can uh, now the calculation for the percent purity so uh, the claimed amount of nh4cl is equal to the quantity of nh4cl which is taken in the experiment and it is 1 g so the percent purity of the ammonium chloride is equal to the experimental amount of ammonium chloride upon the claimed amount of ammonium chloride in 200 so the experiment uh, experimental value uh, we can get from this calculation by using the uh, the weight given here and then we can divide it by the claim am claimed amount that is 1 g in 200 so here we can get the percent purity value and this percent purity value is written in the result that is the percent purity of the given ammonium chloride was found to be this now what are the sources of error in this practical the first source of error is using dirty glassware the second is rinsing burette or pipette with a wrong solution the third not filling burette properly the fourth not transferring all solid and liquids the next is transferring excess volume of the liquid from the burette the next is using wrong reagents leaking titrant from the burette and the and the last and important thing is that naoh may absorb atmospheric carbon dioxide thiosulfate may decompose slowly so uh, we should keep in uh, keep it in mind and we can cover all the reagent solutions we have prepared so uh, this is how we can perform the assay of ammonium chloride thank you for your time